All right, welcome back. Let's figure out what the next step of this is. I would like to get my five cities down. Um, and then at some point, it's, it's going to be fighting. He's got six cities already. He's got four and about to have five. <sighs> you thought I died? Oh my gosh. It's a little dramatic. My Australian friend. Um. Whoa, what did I just hit? Okay. Apparently spacebar is bad for Civ. Don't do that. Don't do that. So Gandhi is not going to like this declaration. But we are at no warmonger penalties. We will when we keep it, but if we declare before the classical era, I think we might be able to get away with it. And I don't think we'll need a whole lot more in order to take them. Doesn't look like they've started walls. If we are going to try to get the Petra there, we need to head that way. That might be... That might be silly, though, considering this threat. Japan is uh, kind of killing us on military score right now. God, maybe we just don't take Auckland. Keep Gandhi happy. Keep a trade partner. Fight. Just prepare a war front up here and fight him. Keep Auckland as a friend. Get some more coastal cities. Get production out of those. If I settle this, it's permanent. It's permanent. Simon has swag. Welcome, dude. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it very much. YOLO, everything for Petra. Yeah, it's, uh, we're okay. We're okay. We've got barbs to deal with. In any case, we need to, um, you like the keep Auckland plan? Yeah, I, I I don't know if I don't know if fighting them makes sense. Obviously, we love the Petra, and this this would be an excellent city if we could get Petra. Gandhi's cities don't look super super good, and they're all gonna have holy sites. So are these though. His capital is pretty good. We got one more city up here, then we could just kind of arm up. Yeah, maybe we don't take Auckland. Maybe we leave them. They're also a good trade partner because they're extra production. Nice, Aaron. Uh oh, where did Settler go? Let's settle here and then go up. Could also settle over here on the rice. We're going to want to put the campus here, actually, and just get a plus two campus going. Then use all this overlap. And then they could get an industrial zone there for plus three. Can we discount tiles yet? I think so. Yeah. So in three turns, we'll place their campus. 
I actually think we'll place it here. Because then it'll boost this industrial zone one more. Yeah, let's let's not go Petra. It, it'll it'll isolate our military strength too much much, and I don't like that idea. Okay. All right, we got a plan. Kind of. That guy is concerning. Don't come settle here. These are my cities. Does Petra give good production? Yeah, that's the whole point of it. But it might not be a uh, Petra kind of a game. Yeah, he's coming up to my spot. <laughs> might have to declare a uh, war on our friend here to take his settler. So if we can snag this settler, we could go ahead and put in this city. And then we could probably put, put another one over here. That would be three, six cities, which is a good start. Uh, I'm gonna place the campus next turn. I'm gonna switch into the tile, the discount, real quick. I think. We're gonna have to fight Gandhi. We still need troops down here. Ay ay ay. Anyone here a casual deity player? Can you be a casual deity player? Isn't that a contradiction of terms? What's up, Fun Tubs? How are you? What's happening? Maybe it's not worth it. We don't have much money though. What do we need to buy? We need to buy, we do want to start our campuses like very, very soon. So getting those down makes a lot of sense. Wow, weekend, nice. You can be a casual DD player if you if you're willing to lose a few times. That's that's probably uh that's probably correct, Jesus. I like that I have a Jesus in chat, that makes me happy. 
Aw. You're a good person, Fun Tubs. Helping Grandma out. So nice. I think I need to buy the campus tiles. I think it's more important to get this adjacency bonus. Weirdly. <laughs> yeah, let's uh let's do it. for a few turns. So lock that baby in. Switch back to the archer. And London, same thing. And we'll go get our government. Could switch back in two turns, but let's just go after political philosophy. It's not going to help adding in the settler right this second. And it's possible we get to steal that one. Barbarians, oh my goodness. Settler stealing, that's the GM, you know? Absolutely. I mean, it's its not for lack of trying. its There just haven't been any opportunities this game. Um, I'd rather stay here. I, I, I don't care if he goes and settles here. I, I want to protect this river. Could I always pronounce it Jesus? <laughs> Nobody fucks with the Jesus. I was going to watch Big Lebowski again this weekend. That sounded like a good idea. Let's go scope out Japan and see what they're up to. All right, so it looks like he went away, which is very, very good. Whoa, desert. What victory? I think we're going to try for a cultural victory, Fun Tubs. Utilize our uh, archaeological museum. All right, so India just settled a new city. Right there. It's the Sahara. Jeez. Alright, I don't see any shenanigans from Japan yet, so that's good. That is not... I guess it's coastal, okay. Why do you have three food? Oh, sheep. Settled on sheep. Okay. Do, you, do I know more than one uh, desert? Probably like two. Mojave. And that's a desert. Uh, there are more. <laughs> I don't have to prove anything to you. should shoot for the long pl let's 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 take a look here which which of these cities do we want first
This is reasonably safe. Um, it's on a hill and surrounded by river. And this would give us a nice, um, like, terrain advantage against him. This being the weakest. So I think we shoot all the way up here. Start with wheat. Maybe get him a, a builder to chop some uh, rainforest. <laughs> I have Google. I don't need to know deserts. <laughs> All right. So let's look. Rather add in that citizen. London London being pop two is really sad. See? See? It's Australians too. <laughs> the desert in Australia is just called Australia. Hmm. Interesting. Um work that for growth, I think. Uh five versus four turns. It's fine. This should grow our borders significantly quicker, so I don't mind working the culture at the moment. Turn 54, um, I just said I want them to grow, but I also want settlers. Two turns to political philosophy. We can add the settler production back in. So in the meantime, just work on your campus, I guess. Excuse me. Come along. Come along. Where are these dumb barbarians? All right, classical era. So we'll take that before moving on to, um, we could take Classical Republic and then switch into Oligarchy when war is ready. We are about to have a couple districts. And we don't have a lot of units to force us to run conscription. It's five gold per turn though. How soon is our trade route done? 12 more turns, oof. Well, we know we're going there. I think let's run this until we need to switch. Can always run conscription down there if we need to. Tile buying powers activate, exactly chuckles. See, you understand. So production towards settlers. 
and probably some builders. And then we could run conscription down there for the gold per turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's making me nervous. Let's bring our archers up. And then we did change to the seller policy, right? Okay, good. So let's have London switch back into this, take off that seven turn. What are our quests? Don't really care about that, although I will be doing that at some point. Great general, great scientist. Oh, what a... All right, well... Ugh. Okay, so that's a dick move, because I wanted that. So this settler's going to have to come over here then. We desperately need some more military. Need all the things. <sighs> War is definitely going to happen. Oh, man. Feels bad. Help. So 10 turns, let's see. Five, yeah, let's go into this. Although it's probably too early to get them down. We need science first. Science and then theater, and then we'll work on our trade routes. This is going to be a really rough early game. What with the trying to do all of the things? Uh, no, thank you. That's somebody else's problem. Yeah, the barbs are really a problem. We are running Ilkum, right? Yeah. Let's get a couple builders in. Oh, 
One, two, three, one, two, three. So I guess let's just go this way. I think we need the builders just to accelerate these cities a bit. I hope Gandhi doesn't steal that spot. What's up, Sisbrosis? How you doing? Happy Monday, dude. Bristol, I need you to grow, so work that tile. And we need to start building a bit of a front here. What's the aid of E-Challenge? Um, it's just we're playing Deity, and we've gone through every single leader. This is actually the last. This is the V in the aid of E-Challenge, the Victoria game, but from Alexander to Victoria. We played all of the deity leaders, all the leaders on deity, rather. And, uh, yeah, it's taken us 40-some days to get through. So it's been, uh, it's been a bit of a ride. It's been a lot of fun, actually. So, yeah, but we're almost done. can't do two. Well, we, we haven't won all of them. <laughs> Did anyone tune into my first stream? I mean, by the time we started this challenge, I had already had a few followers. But um, for a while, like if you start streaming and nobody hosts you, you don't know anybody, you yeah, you kind of stream for nobody. <laughs> Who's the worst Civ in my opinion? Norway. <laughs> uh, Norway's really bad. Piss off our friend, why not? Okay, Auckland got walls. Wasn't really gonna be a thing. I think that that dude's gonna die. Alright, so the only other city that we're kind of fighting for is down here. So let's go that way. What was my first stream? The first game I streamed was um was Fable. <laughs> you gotta get swifty. You gotta get swifty in here. So good. Thank you, Ace here, for the host. What's up? You've been here though. You just found the host button. <laughs> um. So let's see. Everybody is in the classical era so far. He is in the medieval era culturally. So he's winning on culture right now. Yeah, we are falling behind in the uh, artists. That's not good. That is really not good. What is Fable? Uh, Fable is an excellent um, RPG. It's a really fun, it's older. There are three of them. The second one I hear was fun, but the third one was pretty bad. Um, but the first one was quite fun. I think it was for Xbox, but you, you can... Uh, you can find it on PC as well, and that's where I played it. But yeah, it's a very it's a very charming, um, you know, very very uh, kind of whimsical RPG. It's a uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I I recommend it. Okay. Um, 
right, that's a quarry, not this. They need a builder too. Chicken chaser, yes indeed. <laughs> if only there were VODs. Hey, I found that setting and I turned them on, so you will have VODs in the future. What achievement should you try to get? I don't know, man. Are you what ones are you missing? It's kind of up to what you're uh, what you're missing on the old achievement list there. There are a lot of fun ones. All right, I'm gonna start towards this. We hard researched ironworking, didn't we? Eef. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. WS was 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 art. WS WS art. I don't know. I don't know how you want your name pronounced, dude. But uh, what's up? And thanks for the follow. I do appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How do you get great, great writers? You've got to get your theater squares down. Um, and then you'll start to earn writer, artist, and musician points. I never played XCOM Cry. People seem to really love that game. They have game other than Civ games? Yeah, Chuckles, we're gonna try for culture. Um, Hojo got the Oracle. Yeah, we're gonna have to science him up and kick his butt. Favorite game other than Civ games? That's hard. Loading your old Gilgamesh game, fun. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the Final Fantasy series are amazing. Um, I play a lot of Hearthstone, but I wouldn't call that like a favorite game. FF6, I don't know. It, it, is, it, is, it is a great game. The thing about games, you don't have to have a favorite. You can just like them all. I like them all. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. So let's go. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, sneak in. Have I ever streamed Hearthstone? Just one. There was like a Wednesday that we were screwing around, and uh, I, I, I think I streamed an arena run. All right, that's our last city for now. From here on out, it's um, tech up to war. So let's get rid of this and this and this. Let's put that in probably. No, this is wind condition. Builders were good on, actually all this were good on. So we could run just production. An extra gold. No, 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 it's it's a good question. It's uh it's hard to say. But I do like RPGs. Um I'm I'm playing a Baldur's Gate 2 campaign right now. That's a lot of fun. Crash Bandicoot Team Racing, the Zelda series. Um specifically like Link to the Past, I love. I mean, and Ocarina, of course. But um Okay. Um Science seems wide open. 
It's actually this that's a little more contested right now. No, I haven't played Breath of the Wild. I don't have a system that can run it. Oh, you're one of my subs on YouTube. Time and internet speeds don't allow me to watch on Twitch. Oh, sweet, dude. Thanks. Thanks for the uh, words of encouragement. Glad you showed up. Thanks for the follow. I'm uh, glad you're liking the YouTube stuff, man. That is very nice to hear. So envoys, we actually have two in Jerusalem. That's unnecessary, and we have one there. Yeah, this is fine. And again, an emperor right now, and everyone is in the Renaissance era, except for Gilgamesh, who is in the Information era. What turn are you on, Fun Tubs? That's uh, brutal. You got auto modded? What'd you do? Hey, look a fork. I didn't even see a message. I didn't see an auto mod message at all on either of my screens. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's true, Ace here. It's more fun to troll me in person. I am going to chop for science. And ultimately, I think we're just, what if we just settle here? Nah. We'll go here and then we'll put in their campus. Commercial hub, theater square. Seems pretty good. Oh shoot, we do need one more city. Uh, I don't want to have London build it. They need to grow. Tundra settle. It beats having to work, Tundra. All right, this is going to get boosted. So let's put that production somewhere else. Shopping for science. And they can place their theater square as well. Science first. Okay, um, I could send it to the new city. Actually, I'm just going to send it to London. London could use food as well. So let's chop that. They grow. We can place the campus. And their theater square. Go ahead and finish that granary.
field mass red coats is it a good unit i, I it didn't feel like it was that good because it's only going to help us over here it's not going to help us fight hojo at all it's going to be just the same as a normal unit that poor scout is dead this is not inspiring confidence oh He's got Swordsman. We could just get Overrun right now. I need to... Did I run the production? No, I need, I need to switch into it. We, we're we're going to get Overrun unless I build units like Mass right now. Keep it together, Scout. You can do it. I believe in you. Eh, just stay there. If I don't liberate Hojo's cities, I'll never find Red 13 and the planet will perish. That's a good point. Hey, look, Fork. <laughs> you think as an American citizen, I have some reservations about building red coats. It's interesting. <laughs> so silly. So, believe it or not, Bristol is a shorter trade route, and it connects these guys as well. So we will do that. Thank you, swordsman. That is nice, and I think I need to bring you up to the front lines. And we can just place anything right now, just to lock it in. Yeah. Seems good. I don't want to walk into another archer. Okay. Keep it together, Scout. I believe in you. Come on. You got this. So easy. All right. Actually, let's work our way towards feudalism. Probably need to get some walls on the front line, so I'm cool finishing masonry. Do I ever even get generals? Not really. It's, I just don't build that many encampments usually. During the multiplayer game, you walked into a fog of war that contained three barbs, three horsemen, and an archer and a spearman. Ah, uh, poor warrior. I was just mad at you for taking my city spot. And I, I tried, it was my own fault because I tried to be all crafty. 
I tried to like go around you so you wouldn't see my settler, and then it turned out I got a, I got there a turn late, so I shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have done that. Generals are great in high-level multiplayer games. Yeah, you know you knew what I was doing. Had you seen my settler? I, I thought I was. I thought I was sneaky. Grow, London, grow. Actually, I think I need to go use this last charge over there. So two envoys in Auckland, um, but that doesn't really do much. Neither does that. So we'll just hold them. It's going to be really hard to do a cultural victory without a uh, cultural city-state nearby. One charge left, huh? Might want to harvest that later. Promotion. Save his life. Aw, oh, man. He's going to die. Oh, God. We got problems. When wasteful war shall statues overtake Saw the natural wonder, saw my scout. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we only have one city on a foreign continent. Doesn't that suck? Here's the continent lens. Just the one. And the war is going to happen up here before it happens here. Okay, and then on to machinery. Not that we'll have money to upgrade anything. Why, why don't you stay food focused? Okay, food and production, sure. Take all the cities from Gandhi. It would be a good way to bolster our military. That's for certain. This feels really bad. He's getting tons of swordsmen. Let's do that and maybe we can get some money from a trade. We're gonna have to like kite that guy down. Yeah, we, we are in trouble, Aaron. Quite a bit, actually. Like a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. The lack of a food base in London was, a, was kind of a problem. Okay, Liverpool. Yeah, we do need to get our theater square down too. All's bad feels bad. Throw money at them, make them go away. 
<laughs> okay. So profits are gone. First writer and admiral went to Hojo. That's interesting. Scientist is gone, but um, if we're going to fight him, we can hopefully get our writing back. Yeah, we actually do need to get our theater squares down. So let's get walls. I'm uh, I'm scared for my life here. <laughs> nice. Japan is tech production units and economy. I have a human brain. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Aaron, you're doing your cheer routine. Were you a cheerleader? Does Australia have cheerleaders? Is that a thing? Wow, cry. Wow. Okay, um, we're all right. Die, swordsman. I have mine activated. <laughs> they have a bit of a cold? I don't know, probably. I feel fine. Might be just a little stuffy. Air conditioning all the time, you know? Okay, campus complete. We've got two at turn 76. So what other settle spots are available, even? He has to go over there. We need one more of these stupid things so we can get this down. I wasn't going to have them build it, but I guess, I guess they will. Maybe get this down first. That, that'll help them grow back. to get rid of my writer points, but I think we need this. And then that for our last settler. And then in 10 turns, we want to switch. So that'll actually time out just fine.
Could use some builders. Hey, I can't really buy tiles. Um, we need money to upgrade at least to a swordsman. Rush Jerusalem. That's not a bad idea. Free settler, but then I've got to declare, and I, I can't hold him off quite yet. I think that's a really bad idea. And we're not denounced either. Jerusalem, though, that's not a terrible idea. Got some desert, but would be another city. I'd probably have to hold on to that, and that feels bad. But we could, we, we can use a little bit of faith later to get like a, um, the the na the national park dude. Perhaps. Who am I kidding? Let's get walls. Um, speaking of walls, that is going to get boosted at some point. Okay. I've just got the pyramids up there, I guess. Yeah, as free as that settler is, this is overwhelming. Especially without walls. Like, maybe if I had walls, I would think about it. No, I do feel like I'm uh, holding on for my dear life. That's absolutely true. Buy the tile. It's cute. It probably pushes him the other way now. I think I'd rather have the tile to up or the uh, money to upgrade this guy. A <laughs> stupid camp. It's such a problem. All right, let's switch away from engineering since that is going to get boosted. Um, 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 maybe this two turns into astrology so we can get closer to our dockyard, perhaps. Yeah, he's just got too much, too, too much. I'm coming. <laughs> I touched too much. Yes, indeed. I mean, it's just interesting that no one's really building science. They're in the Renaissance era. Ha what? I think we die this game. How are they in the Renaissance era and don't have campuses?
Well, I was going to I was going to try to go for a cultural victory, but that's feeling less and less possible, Y player. Like they don't have campuses. How are they in the Renaissance era? That's unbelievable. Well, I guess we're going to have six cities for a while. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius and we're skeptical. That's ridiculous. That that is actually ridiculous. Renaissance at turn eighty two is way too fast. That's that's insane. Two turns, okay. Well, that's I mean I would do that, Luke, but the, the thing is is that if he's in the Renaissance era and we're not even fully in the medieval era, like his his uh, his military will just crush mine. Like it it it'll be it'll be like a toddler fighting Mike Tyson. Like it won't it just wouldn't work. Like, my best bet is to stay on good terms and try to tech pass them. How many techs does he have? 18. And he's got 17. It, the metaphor works. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't question my metaphors. Cry. Money, if it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable with comfort. So I kind of had to hedge here by going here, because this kind of commits us to the area. I'm hoping that he just moves back into this, but yeah. Uh, yay. All right, so we got our walls. Yes. Give me campuses. I mean, what do you beeline into Ren tech wise? Like, we know he has swordsmen, so he's down here somewhere. So he could have beelined into gunpowder or printing. What am I pronouncing in British? What? Are, yeah, what am I pronouncing in British? I missed it. Still doesn't have knights. Um, he's got iron. So, I don't know. His, no, it's swordsmen are not his unique unit. It's pikemen. The samurai is a pikeman. Oh, I'm pronouncing this in a British accent? Um, <clears throat> hold on. Um, do it. How do you like do the um, the queen like uh, like oh pip, pip, cheerio so so Newcastle upon Tyne. 
No, that's like that's like Scottish. That was like a that was like my this is like a leprechaun coming in there. Uh uh. <laughs> Clip it. Uh I try to I because like my British like merges with Scottish and Australian and it's just embarrassing. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. My 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 voices game is is awful. So yeah, so this is why I had to kind of do this. Otherwise this guy would have just been stuck, and at least now we can get a shot off. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Alright, on to machinery we go. One district locked, two districts locked. Just one district locked for London. That's terrible. Um, two there, and they still don't have there. Alright, good. Four turns, and then we can place a campus. Not too bad. And I wanted to go here just to make sure that this was mine. Seems like it should be. Hmm. Invincibility lies in the defense. The possibility of victory in the attack. Frankly, I need a water mill for some growth. I don't trust it. Yeah, I'm hoping to get to feudalism for our builder rush. But I think I forgot to change our policies. Yeah, we want to get rid of colonization. And then I think get some more. Let's just delay that a little bit. This is making you stressed. Sorry, Aaron. What is this? No, Gandhi, no. Bad Gandhi, bad. No. My territory. Like the steamroll of infrastructure started too late. Yeah, it's true. It did start very, very late. That is part of our issue. Um, part of it was not stealing a settler. Like that, that obviously hurts. All right, stay empty, please, for one turn. One turn, stay empty. Okay, question. Do we want He's being the only one. Do we want this city or this city? Rip 
Queen Victoria. Hey, Vicky, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Vicky. Um. This. Or move. Yeah, the bananas are nice for early growth. The reason I would is would consider this is just because this is a hill and they're going to lack a serious production base. We're going to have to like hold on to the rainforest for quite some time. The one that gets us closer to tea time. <laughs> All right, let's just go there. Yeah, I don't know where he's going to settle. He can kind of go settle there now, but not really because I've got archers there. So yeah, I think he was trying to go settle there. All right, let's uh, switch policies. We're done with that, finally. I think we're just going to run. Urban planning's good. How far away? To feudalism. We could run Ilkum until feudalism. Builders are only four turns. I don't I don't know what other economic policy we we'd really want. This doesn't help too much. It helps in one city right now. Um two gold per turn doesn't seem worth it, so yeah, let's run. Let's done let's do this. And try to get some uh some acceleration with our builders and time it out with feudalism. So for example, we could certainly start one here and have some chops available if we want to chop a rainforest. Yes. That was pretty clutch, actually. I do, but I don't. Like, I, I, I have to focus on my... If I just focus on military now, like, we kind of have to just... Trust that he's not going to attack us right away. Because if he does, I think we're screwed. Unmet player got the Chichen Itza. So, for, for the record, Chichen Itza is over here. So, we were nowhere near. Like, even if you rush guilds, it's... I, I almost think Chichen Itza is one of the hardest to get. Seven turns. So if I queue this up afterwards, that'll time out with feudalism. That'll time out with feudalism. That's too fast. It's a little bit too fast, too. Thanks. Thank you for the faith. It's really useful. All right. 
apprenticeship next. And then maybe niter. We shall see. <laughs> yeah, no, that, oh dear. So he's got, that's basically just a horseman though. I just really don't understand how they're in the Renaissance era. Oh, yeah. Double traders. We need to get there. We're so far behind. He's got a merchant already, too? Oh. He just straight up faith bought a merchant. Gandhi's starting merchants. That's interesting. Well, give me scientists. That's, that is one way that we can catch up here. For sure. Especially since we're relatively peaceful right now. Yeah, struggles of deity is right. It's just a lot of RNG involved. Um, money's definitely a thing. I mean, certainly so is growth. Probably, actually, Manchester needs to grow. Could send it to the new city, but they only have three total housing right now. And we could chop for population there with our new builders. Actually, I think Manchester growing, like, this is, this is potentially our best city. So I think maybe we just do that. Could just keep it in London and go to Liverpool. Yeah, that's reasonable too. It's a short trade route too and they need to grow. They've been stifled for way, way too long. All right, one turn they expand. So we could put one turn into our builder and then start their commercial hub next. <laughs> Hashtag make London grow again, yes indeed. I'm going to stay here. I don't want Gandhi moving through. So five turns till feudalism. That's seven. That's six. Six. You're in, you're in seven. So that, that, that seems to be working out.
All right. I'd obviously prefer to place their theater square, but they'll be population seven soon. Yeah, any district will do. Agreed. So this would be good. We time feudalism with apprenticeship. So we got to be sure to get some mines. Oh, you didn't grow the right way. Five turns. Dear Lord. Are you actually going to grow there this time? Are you? Are you? How are the amenities? I think we're good. Yeah, we're we're pretty we're pretty pretty uh, gravy on uh, on luxuries. Perk of starting with three. <laughs> you didn't like gravy? <laughs> Feudalism in two. Oh, and they're fighting? Really? That's an awkward fight. Oh, feudalism faster than two. Okay, cool. So it served them. <laughs> Your blood is half beer, half gravy. <laughs> ah, you Germans. We could also just push for science right now. God, Japan is 8.2. Yeah, we need to push for science so that we can take Japan over, I think. So give me scientist points and give me serfdom. So, 13 turns till mercenaries. They are still just barely in the Renaissance era, so yeah, so they must have grabbed something quick. And then are just kind of hanging out. Some builders, plural, yeah. So, 3-3. Three, three. So, we've got basically four turns until we can switch. So that'll time out well with military engineering. Kinda, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do with our military. It's pathetic compared to his, but they're fighting at least. Terracotta army. We are all apprentices in a craft where no one ever becomes a master. Yeah, I do want the sea resources. We'll get them in a minute. I'll probably come back around that to that last because I kind of want to work these. All right, I think it's making smart decisions now. We have enough. We have enough citizens that it can distribute it. All right, let's get the ability to get our uh, dockyard. Actually, that'll get boosted, huh? That'll get boosted in a few here. 
yeah, we can we can shave a couple turns of science. It's not much, but free science is free science, so might as well take it. Thank you. <laughs> Told me so. Yes, you did. You did good, sir. So next, I think. I mean, everybody's getting their own. I guess I could just do this. That'll be more permanent. And then they're finally locked in on a district. is good yeah I, I want to lock them in on a district but I can't really I can't justify the money is it worth it Guess I can just put the theater square there, right? This doesn't get an adjacency bonus, but it lets me lock it in now, saves the production, and winds up boosting this, and this is also boosted. So we lost essentially one culture by doing this instead, but it saved us a lot of money. And Chester's working terrible tiles, yeah. Bit better. At least they'll grow now. And then we'll get all the builders, all of them. The four building blocks of the universe are fire, water, gravel, and vinyl. So we'll swap that. That's where your theater square goes. It's Auckland's quest. Get a great general. AKA not gonna happen. Get the ability to have our dockyard. Let's see. I kinda wanna do farming triangle there for them. Oh hi. Um, I'm going to harvest you, Stone. Try to get another theater square down. So, one, two, three, four. I guess it's not the worst. Liverpool's going to work the specialist, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, what happened to you? I thought you were going to be done sooner. It means we should delay this. Actually, three turns for recorded history. 
All right, let's start you with a food base. Take advantage of any uh, chops and harvests that we can. Oh crap! I hit the wrong button. I meant to. I meant to. <laughs> God damn it! Ah, so bad at this game. I meant to harvest that, not put him, not put a dang quarry there. I was going to thank you preemptively for your bit, but I didn't want to be presumptuous. <laughs> thank you both Aaron and Cry for your derpy bits. All right, so he's got crossbows. Bit of a waste there. Bit of a waste. Oh yeah, Gandhi must be fighting them, huh? And he has knights. Yeah, I see that. I don't know that I can really help him. He's not going to want this. Really, Gandhi, you don't? Oh, you have it as well. Cool. That's... Okay. 150 gold. It's like one crossbow promotion. One and a half. Future liberation slash raising target. True enough. Plus it's just weakening Gandhi's military, which makes me happy. Alright, so now... Um, are we done with that? Yeah. So we're done with this. Could take a little extra science. Gold seems a little more important. We've got a couple. That'll be worth a little bit of science. I would say at least 10 or 15 percent. So let's do that. Yeah. That seems good. Go ahead and get a dockyard. I think I'm going to start him with an industrial zone. Industrial zone or commercial hub? This is worth more adjacency bonuses. So this winds up helping our economy a little bit more now. Industry. <laughs> Hype buddies, I like it. Yeah, I guess 
We'll go economy first. Because so the trade routes are quite valuable. There we go. Those who in quarrels interpose must often wipe a bloody nose. I wish these envoys were worth anything at all. Certainly not going to take a suzerain status there with him fighting. And they're probably only fighting because he's at war. So London is working all the production, except I really still want them to grow. So I'm gonna lock in their food tiles for right now. And then these guys could go ahead and take one of these. That seems good. Okay, turn 110. We're about to get this. So that's a nice boost to science, and we're killing it on science points. Started along on our merchants. Somebody's working on engineers. Oh, Japan. Hey, we can faith buy stuff. All right, just for the sake of locking in a district, let's do that. We have to start competing for those at some point. See one, two, and then they're gonna need a mine. So we'll send him down. You are gonna do what? That. Science. Huzzah, science. So, um, is there a three anywhere? Probably in Hojo's land. Do you think, I don't think we can get there or there. We'd need open borders from him, but it would be worth a lot of science. Like a lot of science. Several turns worth of science. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Cry. Thanks for the bits. Of the non-derpy variety. Um. God, we're losing money per turn. Sure. I'll give you nine gold. Nine gold.
Ooh. Do we pay for the Iliad? Would be a decent uh, little culture boost. Do you like the Odyssey less? You guys want the Iliad or the Odyssey? I know we can't afford it, but four culture per turn is a huge boost right now. And that'll get us to exploration, which will give us more money because of trade routes. It's not out of spite. <laughs> it's not necessarily spite. All right, so let's transfer you here. Okay, these cities are finally coming together. Feels like it's about 20 turns late. Thought I was better than that? Why would you think that? And I feel like I'm just going to put their industrial zone here and then their industrial zone here. Because that's plus five and that's real nice. <laughs> a little rude. A little rude. <laughs> All right, so he has knights now. Good luck. Good luck, brave scientist. Go Gal... Ga Gal... 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 Whatever. Don't worry about your feelings. <laughs> Can't take your hug back. That's the point of a hug. You give it away. from you. All right, so Bristol has pretty good tiles. Manchester could use a couple chops there. Um, I guess we'll save it. Are 
still at war? Yes, they are. I wonder what they're fighting about. We just go wherever there's a mixture of money and trouble. Manchester, curiously, not by the sea. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, so I really want to run meritocracy. And then that'll help us get to exploration. Sometimes I do the reverse order. I'm still not sure which is correct. Let's get those trade routes in. Get dockyards because of navy. Yeah, they could use that fishy. We need more builders. One of the games we've actually gone light on it. I think we're going to have to get some later. Don't. What are you doing? Get out of here. Got to hear Gandhi, warmongery, son of a jackal. Switch jungle to Liverpool? I would chop this for them. I'm thinking about chopping these things so that they can have a farming triangle there. Because I want the planes. I don't know. Oh, for the Venetian arsenal? That's not a bad idea. I don't know how much... Um, hmm. That is an interesting thought. Yeah, we do need to explore. I think that is something that we should prioritize pretty quick here. Where is our uh, unique ship? Sea Dog is pretty far away still. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more cities than this. Six is awful. I'd prefer to have eight by now. Got the Colossus. I think we're gonna we're gonna try to get to the industrial era and then take over Hojo. He's got a bunch of wonders. He's got a bunch of great works. Like I want all of his stuff. Slow start, lucky we are at war. Luck has nothing to do with it. Okay, that's not too bad. And then we'll give them a little bit of growth. Sweet, science. So we're gonna get 750 science. So what do we want after military engineering? Go right into this so we can fight things. Good luck taking Hojo. Well, I didn't say we're going to do it now. <laughs> Got a ways to go. Maybe education. Do we chop for edu- or uh, use the guy for education? And then as we work our way up, we can get these... Um, I guess what I want to do is skip your turn once. I 
Let's just see if we have Niter, just to see if we are, are going to be able to fight in this era. The more science intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for um, field armies. So we had some there. There were never enough sappers. And we'll have some there. So an industrial era war seems good. We will have two Niter. I think I like it. So education, yeah, we can, we'll, we'll get both of these and then move on to gunpowder. Uh, before doing that, let's make sure any districts that we can lock are locked in. I assume that they are, they're going to be, but still. Yeah, we haven't grown enough. Okay. Need more gold? Um, we're going to get to our next um, government that's going to help us. I guess that doesn't make a lot of sense. We can just go to Liverpool. Play the gaunt long game, eliminate the threat of nuclear war, take over Gandhi. It's not a bad it's not a bad suggestion. Betwixt the stirrup and the ground, mercy I asked. So that got us halfway, that got us all the way through education and then halfway through gunpowder. Natural wonders, Darwin. So Japan's gonna get religious art as well. That's all right. Trade route, trade route, more money. And I think pretty we're pretty much done on internal. Oh, hi. 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 Hello. I wonder, uh, it's probably the other commercial and uh, industrial dude. Redbeard the pirate. Have a delegation. Would you like to make any trades? You probably would. That seems great. Let's do that. He has a lot of cities. Holy cow. Jeez, dude. There's nine cities already. Good day, Dad. Daddy Barbosa. Let's do this. Start to get some money that way. Good day. Giddy. Get get good day. Whatever. Looks like giddy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Really? Where? Must be in this city. Because otherwise it would affect this tile. So we got the Petra. We could we can go ahead we could time it out where we raise the Petra City, take Auckland, and then build it in Auckland. Just back to our original plan, like we always meant it to be. Okay. Well. It's that trade route. Why why there? Why don't why don't you go up the coast? That's kind of what I want more. I want this road. We want we want a road into his cities. It's not worth very much gold though. Good day, Sheila. <laughs> I don't I don't know that that's the case. Hey, look a fork. That's uh. It's weird. You're making it weird for everybody. I kind of really want this. I kind of really want this road. Yeah, and it'll reset if we uh, go to war, so it's not the worst. Yeah, I do think it is uh, upgrade time. We've got three turns. Pull back a little bit. Scope them out that way. That seems bad. Let's put you there. All right, so we're going to have... Yeah, Preslav is under attack. Who belongs to Preslav? Oh yeah, because they're fighting. That's kind of funny. So that's Gandhi's and then that's Hojo's. <laughs> Cry, I would send you a bit if I could. Yeah, uh, Jackie Spoon. It's just uh, it's a UI mod, CQ UI. We, uh, we don't modify the game, but we do modify this and have a much better, much better city screen. Can do all all things from one from one location. No problem. All right, don't attack me yet. Jesus, and he's got the doubles. Oh dear. All right. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Uh, just for the interest of taking the military slot here, I think we should change governments. Especially if he attacks me, I could use the extra. We've earned 1%, well, 4%. We could have nine more turns. We could have 
and it's 20 turns. Yeah, I think we have to switch. He looks like he's going to attack me. All right, so definitely run meritocracy. Probably good on inspiration. Could put writer points back into. Certainly need professional army. And then why don't we take conscription? Why don't we do this? And we'll switch this somewhat soon. Because our crossbows are going to eat our money. Going to be rough if he attacks. Medieval fairs we can actually boost, and we will. So that'll be nice. If he goes for Sheffield, we're really sad. Why don't you like me? Hopefully he's just trying to make his way to India. Yeah, hopefully. It's quite a big hope. I mean, we can have muskets in a turn, but we don't have money to upgrade them. We could now sell the Iliad to Germany. Or the Odyssey. If we sold it to Gandhi, we could take it back over if we decided to, to take him. Then we could have two muskets on the front line. It's going to be a pretty big deal. It's a pretty good investment. We uh, we gave up a luxury and then wind up getting a ton of gold back. Yeah, the culture is good, but not dying is also good. I like not dying. That makes me happy. I'm going to send this to Gandhi it's for the most money. There's like nothing for us to take either. Yeah, let's, let's try to gear up and take him over. And I think I'll sell it to Gandhi versus Germany just so we have a chance of getting it back. So he values his coffee quite a bit. So we can have 17 and 171. Or 19 and 190. I think it's better to be able to get it back. This way we can get it back. And then we can upgrade these two next turn.
This is going to piss Hojo off, and I think I'm okay with that. Let's go right for ballistics. Ooh, and we can get our red coat. But it's not going to help, right? This is what this is why I said it's a really situational unit. Ten combat strike when fighting on a continent other than yours. No disembark cost. So all we get is a melee unit with no disembark cost. Melee strength 65 versus 55. That's 70. I mean, that's good if you can fight on a different continent, for sure. Hey, Kagan. No worries, man. Pop in whenever you want. Nice to see you. You guys can come and go as you please. Yeah, Redcoats versus India seems good, If, but we're probably going to be past that point by the time we go fight them. Kind of sucks that our hand's being forced right now. Last boss, Victoria. Yeah, final boss. It's the final count countdown. All right, let's do that there. Two caravels is not going to happen. Yeah, I don't mind where we're at. I think we're doing okay. No wonders. Feels bad. <laughs> Red Coast. Are you going to come fight me or what? Oh, he's great people happy, I see. Why do you like communism so much? Just for the production, Panda? Really, you're just gonna you're just gonna hang out there. It is boosted. Boosted. I have more than two crossbows. We good. I think if the Great Library gave like four science, it might be worth it. And the no war wariness government card. It's not no war wariness, is it? Oh, in your territory. I mean, you can grab the government card and not run communism. Cry derp. <laughs> That's it's your bit. Cry. I owe you a. I owe you a, a bit. What are you doing here, Mr. Knights? There are very honest people who do not think that they have had a bargain unless they have cheated a merchant. Oh, 
Um, let's upgrade one more. And then we'll switch. Conscription seems good. Love that quote. It's a good it's a goodie. This doesn't do anything. Thanks a lot, aesthetics. You suck. Most of our routes are international. Seems good. Okay, new government hype. Score's going down a little bit. I love that he's just chilling here. Yeah, oligar Oligarchy Merchant Republic is what we typically do. But we are going to try for a culture victory still, I think. It's starting to feel bad, though. I don't know if we should, like, denounce and get ready for this. Feels like with the musket men, we don't have a... We're not too far behind, but we could use a couple more units. God, he's at 92 science per turn. Universities will help. He has a lot. He has too much here. I think we need uh, field cannons. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Pyro. Are they still fighting? They are. makes a great and massive shield, and he forged on the shield two noble cities. Could use a couple builders. Um, all right, London finally grew, so we can get rid of this. Yeah, we could use some builders. Yeah, they need two more citizens before I can get that, though. Look at one possibility with that. Let's get uh, let's get another little builder rush here. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that we can clear. That is way too long on a builder. Holy cow! We have walls up here. But yeah, that's it. Right.
I don't want him moving like freely on Liverpool. Liverpool is very vulnerable. Especially without walls. I mean, maybe he is going for Gandhi. I don't know. Exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world, devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. Okay. Um. These guys can grow again. Where's that barb camp? Oh, jeez. That is kind of... Gandhi, can you please fix that? Yeah, I want Liverpool to be able to grow. So that we can get their industrial zone. Because that's a really good industrial zone. And then we've got the builders coming. And then I think we'll go right for the sea dog. Could help us with uh, with the cap and stuff. Oh, nice, cute Germany. Dicks. That's also cute Germany. Thank you. Sea dog's good. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it. See if we can capture some ships. Seems cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't want them pushing all these knights through. This These cities will fall super, super fast. So even though I might lose a crossbow, at least they're in rough terrain. And we have a response to it. He could also just be trying to push through to go over here, but... Cute panda. Ten turns till humanism, is that what we want? Is there anything else that would help us? I guess not. I guess we do need to go after those. Jeez. Japan, Rome, Germany. In India. That is a hell of a game. That's seriously brutal. So Germany's certainly in the lead, tech wise, with 32 already. We've pretty much caught up to Gandhi. We have 25. He has 30. Oh, wow. They both have 32. Yeah, we're still about seven techs behind. Where's my stop? Yeah, he was in like the first half of all games. And we haven't seen him in a while. Those 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 Persians decided they don't want to play anymore. Oh, uh, you know what? This guy needs to go up here. Cause the capital's pretty good on that.
Japan about Japan about to attack me? I kind of hope so. Without hoping too hard. But we do want conflict with him because I want to take his, his empire. Give them that. They should be working. Why are you working? Oh, because I'd be food focused. There you go. That's better. Surely the AI won't voluntarily be at two wars at once? Eh, maybe. They might, you never know. So he pulled back. Did they, um, they didn't make peace, did they? No. They've been at war forever. No, Burton. It's not. But it is exciting. Thanks, everybody, for being here. If you're new here and you're enjoying the stream, hit that follow button. We'd enjoy seeing you back. going to do this for um, housings. <laughs> Way to go, Burton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, except for that part of it. Sure. Very cool. Why are most people playing 5 and not 6? A lot of people like 5 better. Um, it's been around. It's established. A lot of people have a lot of complaints with 6. Yeah, people fear change. That's pretty much what it comes down to. But we like 6 on this channel. In fact, we like it a lot. We have not even begun the engineer. Man, this is this is really scary. Hojo's industrial. So yeah, that hasn't really changed. I think we are nearing that point where we can fight though. Our science feels really bad. It's because we only have six cities. What are some complaints about six you're contemplating if you should buy it? Um, people don't really like the way that the AI works. Um, it's pretty pretty dumb, but honestly, the Civ Five AI is pretty dumb too. Um, some people weirdly don't like the aesthetics of like the Fog of War, which I think is crazy because I really like the Fog of War. You get like the old timey map thing and like the octopuses and krakens and stuff. Um. There are there are a lot of like weird buggy things that honestly have been worked out, it seems like. So if if you're into this kind of game and you're considering buy it, buying it, I wouldn't hesitate even a little bit. Because I think you'll like it. But um, let's see, what else do people complain about?
Yeah, as soon as they have ballistics, I think we're going to go on Japan. And that's true. You could probably wait for the Steam Summer Sale. I would imagine it'll go back on sale. Probably went a little excessive on the builders. That's okay, though. Yeah, there should be some more DLC this month, as was rumored. So they're fighting over here again. My man. Yurtman, thanks for the follow, man. What's up? Welcome here. You'll you will see a lot more of that of this game on this channel, so you can make an educated decision as to whether you want to pick it up or not. Okay, um, London grows in 14 turns, so no industrial zone until then. Um, I think we're gonna go see if we can find a, a better, a better city-state to ally with. Might have went a little ham on the builders, guys. A little ham. Wasn't there supposed to be an announcement for Civ 6 today? I don't know. Good question. Good night, Ace here. Thanks for hanging out, man. Uh, the DLC rumors are just um, a couple more, um, like two new, two new leaders, probably from um, South Asia, I believe. All right, I'm just going to go to Auckland here. Do we want to boost our cap still? Oh, and they can have a third. Okay, you know what, I will, we'll go ahead and clear this and chop. We've got the builder charges. We'll put that guy back, clear it, chop it, and get the uh, commercial hub down. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, only, it's usually only one game per, per stream. We, it usually takes us a couple of days to finish Pine Glow. Good, good answer there, Fork. Thank you. Okay. Damn, turn 140 with 54 science feels bad, man. Seven turns, we're looking at war. Should be reasonable. We are going to need some... Um, you know what? That's what we need. So after that, let's get some siege units from the capital. <laughs> I learned from my mistakes. You guys just think I make mistakes sometimes when I'm not actually making mistakes. Let's be honest. Oh dear. Ergo, I don't learn. Whatever. I gotta remove that improvement. Get 
get started on one of those as well. Ah, uh, we're pretty far away, Pyro. We don't get to combine units for quite some time. We gotta get to the Enlightenment first. I actually think after humanism we should probably... Like, I don't know that we're doing a lot of naval battles. But we want to see the sea dog. So I guess we can get it. <laughs> Thank you, Halo Fork. <laughs> yes, indeed. All hail me. I am great and worthy of your praise. I want to go clear this stuff, but I don't feel like I should give up the rough terrain bonuses. Maybe here we can. Five turns. Maybe once we have ballistics, we can. There we go. Yeah, get off my plane. Biatch. Mine. It's my tile. Um, should we denounce? <laughs> yes, everybody stroke my ego. Mm, yes, good. Good suggestion, Cry. God, he has a military that should absolutely be able to destroy us. Well over twice our military. <laughs> it's a little weird, but I'm, I'm, I'm into it. It's cool. Nothing wrong with a little weird. Um. Okay. It's actually a little early on the siege weapon. Let's chop for the musketman. And then place this. Yeah, it is. It's getting a little weird. It's all right. It's all right. I, I embrace the weird. Gotta embrace the weird, dude. That camp is gone, so it's been dealt with. Okay, do we denounce? I think we do. He is denounced. So I'm making sure that my crossbowmen are in my border range so that we can upgrade them. <laughs> it's a good call, Aaron. You, you don't want to. You don't want to let my ego uh, get out of control. It's a terrible idea. Oh, hey, we can place our campus. Oh man, it'd be so nice to shoot him in the. Shoot him in the water. So what has he built here for us? Oh man, that has an archeological museum already. Yeah, we gotta deal with him. He's gotta go. Like probably to full extinction. <laughs> uh, you, you, gotta, you gotta hold your word a little bit, Aaron. Come on. 
Can't, can't, I'm telling you, you can't do that. Can't boost my ego like that. It's a terrible idea. Oh, we have another trader possible. Some snowy sheep. Agreed, Aaron. We're we're terrible. We're the worst. Uh damn. Eleven turns in London can get their industrial zone. We have one Royal Navy dockyard. Where do you think you're going? That's not okay. The four characteristics of humanism are curiosity, a free mind, belief in good taste. Oh, Darwin. Once again, you have nowhere to go. Oh, and I can't even embark yet. After ballistics, we'll have to get that. This is awkward. I guess we'll go this way. Sure. Because I don't want to run into his stuff. I love that he's totally backed off. I wonder if we can mess with him. Uh, no, I'm not giving you my niter. Cute. No. Where's he going? I think he is just trying to go for Gandhi. Let's see if this does anything. Let's see if it brings him back, since he'll think he has a path here. Okay, again, this is going to reset when we declare war. Really? That's how it's going to be, huh? Okay, um, let's do a two-turn theology, and then we'll switch into the discount, because I think we got rid of that, right? Yeah. Japan's creepy. They're being all weird, man. They're being super weird. Forbidden City would be sweet. I wonder if we could build it in Liverpool. Holy cow. 
Japan has 16 great artist points per turn. See if he comes back around. Really hope he does. Check the cost of an archer to field cannon and then crossbow to field cannon. Sure. This is 430. And that is 230, so it just adds it, because it's normally 200 to go from a archer to a crossbow. So. Does that confirm any suspicion that you might have? And we can probably get rid of the housing. Yay. I'm going to keep a couple single builder charges around just for the uh, possibility that we get some pillage stuff. What are you doing? You could do a lot of damage with pillaging up here. That would be the worst. So he is successfully denounced. We could uh, we could go on him. Yeah, I know. We need everything, man. Hoping to grab some sea dogs. We have no we have no way of making use of that at the moment. It would be a little bit of production. It might not be the worst idea, but I really hope that we can find. A cultured, a cultured to take advantage of. All right, cry. Peace out, dude. Peace out, my friend. Okay. There it is. Good timing on the upgrade. This is still going to hurt a lot. Those knights can get some work done. All right. Great, great spot to put a cut in the video. So we're going to do that, and uh, we're going to come right back and fight the war. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody.